Imagine being one of France's wealthiest individuals, only to find yourself targeted by new, heftier taxes designed to dig deeper into your wealth. And it's not just happening in France. Similar tax changes are sweeping across Europe and other Western countries. The aim? Governments are after high net worth individuals, just like you, hoping to plug deficits. But what can you do about it? I'm Trafford from Portugal Bridge. With over three and a half decades of experience in immigration, residency, and real estate planning, we specialize in helping the world's affluent and safeguard our freedom and assets. If you want, or if you are one of the rich in today's economic landscape, it's more important than ever to stay informed. Let's dive in with France as our example. High net worth individuals in France may technically become non-residents, but the government is making this harder with each passing year. And this isn't a trend that's just stopping in France. It's spreading fast. We're seeing it in the United Kingdom, the United States, and across the European Union such as the Netherlands. Wealthier citizens are facing new restrictions on tax shelters and higher inheritance taxes. In France, for instance, inheritance tax on amounts over 1.18 million could soon increase to 50% or even 60%. Imagine that. That means nearly half of your wealth could go straight to the government. Thank you very much. One of the most impactful proposals on the table is limiting the use of double taxation treaties with lower tax countries, such as, I don't know, Barbados. Removing avenues for wealth protection. Adding in inflation, stand stagnant tax brackets, and rising cost of living. And you have a recipe for what I call wealth drain. So, this growing trend towards higher taxes and fewer deductions isn't just about income either. Corporate taxes are likely going up with super profits from companies in profitable sectors under particular scrutiny. We've been hearing that France might raise a flat tax rate on companies. At Porticon Bridge, we see how this affects not only personal wealth, but also how businesses that create jobs and drive the economy are being punished instead of rewarded. So what are affluent individuals doing? They're moving. Many French citizens are now relocating to tax-friendly destinations such as Dubai, where taxes on cryptocurrency profits are zero, or Hungary, with its ultra-low 9% corporate tax rate. Some are exploring life in Latin America or Thailand for the favorable climates and lower tax rates or fairer tax rates, I would say, not lower. If you're still living in France or another high tax nation, this may be the time to evaluate your situation. These tax policies have far reaching consequences that are likely to impact or likely to impact your lifestyle, your family's wealth, and even economic growth in your home country. With higher taxes on inheritance and the super profits, the working population may feel little change, but in the long run, wealth flight can fuel inflation and strain economy, the economy further. Looking across the pond to the United States, we see a similar trend. 
As elections approach, tax policies are set to shift again, likely adding pressure to the top earners. Keeping up with these policy shifts is essential to preserving your financial freedom and security. In stark contrast, regions like Dubai, Hungary, as I mentioned earlier, and Cyprus offer robust opportunities for the wealthy. Zero taxes on cryptocurrency profits, no VAT on crypto transactions, and a stable legal environment that prioritizes asset protection. And the tax side isn't slowing down. The UK, for example, is considering an exit tax, similar to Canada's and Australia's, which tax taxes assets at the time of departure. So if you decide to leave the UK, you might find yourself paying capital gains tax on your assets just for relocating. Expect more European countries to follow this example, implementing exit taxes to deter high net worth individuals from taking their assets abroad. Western governments are growing increasingly desperate to hold on to their wealthiest citizens without letting them leave unscratched when it would be much easier to lower the tax rate on these wealthy individuals. So what are your options? If you're considering relocating, whether to protect your wealth or seek new freedoms, consider moving to a tax-friendly jurisdiction to protect your hard-earned money. At Portico & Bridge, we're here to help you navigate these changes and secure your future. Before I go, Naturally, this is my personal opinion and not tax advice. See you next time. Make it a great day.